affecting everybody these days. Oh no! Oh no! No! In today's video, we're going to be testing out TikTok hacks and to see if they actually work. <laughs> Guys, we've got multilingual. Make sure you check out their new TKOR channel that's all in Spanish. Grace, it looks like we're going to be cooking. We are going to be cooking. We are going to be making things disappear and We're going to be dissolve. cooking, and it was Grace's idea. <laughs> this seems like something I can actually do, though. Pancakes are one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. I have come to love TikTok also. It's one of those things that you either love it, hate it, or you just embrace it. Here's the basic idea. We're going to test out which TikTok viral videos are camera trickery and which ones are actually real. Pancakes are my favorite food in the whole entire world, partly because it's the easiest thing to make um, and it's really hard to mess up. So we're going to see if the viral video of cooking a pancake in a rice cooker can actually be done. So I think you showed this to me and yep. it's just pancake batter. You add it to the rice cooker and let it cook slowly for how long? I don't know. Uh, but that's it's supposed it to first. it's supposed to just turn into like one really thick pancake that's cooked nicely all the way through. It's exciting. All um, right. So we need to coat the thing with oil. So will you coat the rice cooker with? Even though it's a nonstick coat, olive oil. I don't know. What are you supposed pancakes? to use? Not olive oil. So it tastes not like olive, olive oil. oil. <laughs> I guess if that's how you like your pancakes, you could do that. But. Sure. Can't imagine it's the best. <laughs> okay, so from the TikTok video, which Mark thankfully reminded me about, that one cycle of cooking the rice was enough. So he dumped it into the rice cooker. I don't want to do that. I want to mix it here first because I don't trust myself mixing everything in the rice cooker. Plus, we've got a whisk, and that way we avoid the nonstick surface yep, yep, yep. that we've already put in there. You literally just take like a pancake mix. The whole thing? Yeah. How about like one? batch two cups of this stuff one cup of milk and two eggs Fine. two cups of this one cup of milk two eggs that's supposed to yield 14 pancakes but we're making one big one we're gonna try and make one pancake that's worth 14. This one's cool. It involves toilet paper, a fan, and tape. The idea is that it just kind of stays out in front of it as a Achoo. twisting shape, right? Yeah. But it would need the blowing air to stay out. So does she like hold it until it starts going? Yeah. All right, let go. Well. Maybe turn it up. Ah, it has shredded itself. <laughs> okay, so that one didn't work super well. Okay, it did look like it kind of wanted to work, but where I was holding it, it had twisted itself up. Gotcha. I'm just gonna go to high. Yeah. It's kind of working. A little bit, but it is kind of working. It does seem like it's mostly just that it's wrinkled still at the end. <laughs> Why does ours look like this? I don't know. High five. <laughs> it's really good at high, well, it's more like a high one. Once we get five of them on, it might be like a high five. Oh, you broke it. Grace. So this TikTok video hack trick thing, I declare as maybe if you have the right equipment. Since we're not using the exact same fan, we have a hard time telling if it would work. So we got the swirlies and then, you know, like, Hers just was very, very tall, and I don't know why. Different shape of fan blades, different size, holding them out more. Hers was bigger, I think, than this. And I think like our flam fan blades are very flimsy, and like we saw when we took the toilet paper off, this sped up, so I think anytime it has interference, it gets a little unhappy. When I first told Nate we were making Piranha Solution, he said, what? <laughs> and so here we are. So I am following Princeton's rules for Piranha Solution. We're going to use an acid, which is sulfuric acid, and then we're going to use hydrogen peroxide, 
this is incredibly aggressive, this is incredibly aggressive. This is a 35% solution of hydrogen peroxide. The stuff you get at the brown bottles at the store is a 3% solution, so it's a lot stronger. Piranha solution is able to dissolve anything. So that's what this guy did on TikTok, is he dissolved a piece of toilet paper or a paper towel in the solution, and it literally like, whew, instantly. Uh, Piranha solution can exceed temperatures of 100 degrees when you mix these two chemicals together, which is pretty crazy. That's a pretty aggressive exothermic reaction. That's why we've got Pyrex for the glass. It's microwave safe and everything. It can take a decent amount of heat. Yep. So hopefully all of our reaction will happen in that. Okay, so here's the sulfuric acid. The piranha solution is a mixture of a three to one ratio. So we're using three um, of the sulfuric acid, so that's going to be 120 milliliters, and then the hydrogen peroxide, we're going to use 40 milliliters. Princeton told us to put the sulfuric acid in first, and then we're going to use a different one. Ooh, look at it. Ready when you are, I guess. Woo! Okay, ready? Oh. Hey, it went whoosh. There's not really any brown gucky stuff left though. It's gone. It's pretty gone. <laughs> oh, there's the brown gucky stuff you were talking about. Oh, and now the brown gucky stuff is breaking down too. That's so crazy. To be honest, this deserves a yeehaw. Because <laughs> I was so scared it wasn't going to work. This is honestly the coolest thing that I've done yet. Toilet paper, highly processed. Plywood, less processed. And I'm not gonna just drop it in, I'm just gonna dip part of it in. Oh my gosh. It's also reacting with any of the like glue that makes up the wood. That's, That's nice and crazy. burned. And then let's, yeah, you can see it's just kind of eating away in it itself. Up, clearing, <laughs> clearing it all away. That's so cool. Look at this layer it's created. To simulate what would happen if we stuck a finger in it, I have a hot dog. I'm just going to stick that in a little bit. -like. It doesn't react as it's fast very as the toilet paper, but it's fizzing. I feel like it's because this is so much denser. Well, it's incredibly processed food. Yeah. It's not a perfect analog for humans. You know what, that's enough. I don't I don't want to have the stuff in here anymore, even with all our doors so, open. TikTok trend, 10 out of 10. Should you try this at home? Absolutely not. You guys don't need to make this. The fumes were incredible. And like, we are all a little bit itchy from this. We handled it properly. We wore eye <laughs> protection. Super cool video. Super cool what happened here. But do not try this at home. Don't do it. In other news, you can make a pancake at home. Let's look at our pancake. <laughs> yeah! All right, so we are, we're about four cycles, right? Yeah. Four cycles of our rice cooker. Because after the first ones, like the top middle especially, was still just liquid, mm -hmm. like completely liquid. Ooh! Look at that. That looks like a- That's so amazing! A cake. Just, it's not a pancake, it's a cake. I think we could have done one less cycle. I think you might be right, yeah. We're just learning, obviously, but. It's so crispy on top. A little bit of crispiness. That looks pretty evenly cooked all the way through. I gotta say, I'm this impressed. This looks so good. Oh, it's so delicious. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Take a bite right out of the middle here. It's got lots of syrup on it. The bottom is, I think, a little too crispy. Uh, I like my pancakes crispy, so I like it. It adds a very subtle crunch. There's a lot of syrup in there now. I would say that this is a very valid option for a whole breakfast. Like if you're cooking breakfast for multiple people, obviously not for like 20 people, unless you have a whole lot of rice cookers, but- This is great. You give each person like a quarter or six of this as part of a breakfast, that's pretty good. And you just be like, yeah, just put butter and syrup on it like it's a pancake. It's just shaped like a cake. Cake. All right, Mark, hop in here and get some. That syrup is so rich. It rise, but it didn't rise. Yeah, it grew some, but not a ton. I recommend everyone try this at home. So we're gonna head outside and do this last one. I saw this and sent it to Mark because it looked so epic. So basically it's this 
flowers, and smoke bomb. I want to know if this works or if this was completely fake. So the idea is that it will dye the flowers. Yes. Pieces of me think this is fake and not real and they like spray painted them maybe. Um, I have dyed flowers using capillary action where you put them in the food coloring, they soak up, come through the flowers, nice but it's, and pretty. But it's not like a perfectly even color when you do it like that. Right, right. So in this TikTok, which I haven't seen yet, does it it just turns like completely the color? Or? It's just like kind of splotchy, smoke bomby, kind of flower looking. But we're gonna stick these in here and see if we can get some smoke bomb. Okay, so our first test is going to be this. Um, it's paint free, water soluble, and non toxic, which is good. So I'm going to launch this into there. I don't know what color this is gonna be because it's a gender reveal. <laughs> Probably was labeled on the wrapper, but. That's been removed. But here we are, so. We're gonna find uh, out the gender of our flowers. <laughs> All right, Nate, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. This might be terrible. Like, line that up like here. Okay, ready? Do we, do we wanna do <laughs> another one not into this container so we know if this is gonna be like dangerous? <laughs> Pretty powerful. Three, two, one. Also pink. Oh, it's a girl again! Guess we got a pink pack. How long do we let it? The I guy mean... just kind of like closed the container and then carried it somewhere to his girlfriend and then made her wear like some gloves while she handled the flowers. <laughs> Probably just whatever it is now is where it's going. Well, they are pink. Also, we got the lid from the container. Hot All pink. right, so that is very pink at the moment doesn't stick a ton. Wow, I'm actually like shocked that this worked. I don't know why. I guess just because it just didn't look like it was going to work on TikTok, but this is actually kind of cool. So here's how this one works. We just light that. So it's blue. Put the cover on, maybe. And then whatever color smoke comes up out of it and we see if it stains everything. So Boy or girl flowers. flowers. Boy or girl flower. flowers. Boy flowers! Yay, blue flowers! That's a really You're letting blue. out all the blue! When you keep it concentrated, yeah, when it's in the air, it dissipates, but all in the container, it's pretty concentrated. It's gonna be really blue. I bet we definitely have a nice blue circle on the ground. Oh, yeah. Boy, I've got some very pink shoes now. <gasps> well, we've got some very blue glass, so that, I would say, is stained. It got the stem a lot, too, obviously, whether yeah. you want that or not. Uh, but, like, yeah, it's this color works, stays on. This works way better, honestly, because the Plus pink has my, has, it's all over my fingers, but with this smoke bomb, like you said, like it's not shaking off at all. Plus, if you want your flowers to smell like fireworks, <laughs> then it really You're does. You're into that. Oh. I like how, like, it has that really cool effect of, like, some of it's very colored and others, it's just like a hint. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I'd say our TikTok trend video. Even the fan one, that may have just been our equipment. Yeah. I don't think it was faked or anything. I think it was real. It's just you have to have the right so, kind of fan. It was a great day. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you check out that video right there to see our other videos. And then we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.